Yo, what is up you guys, Flair here, and today we have the fifth episode of my running back road to glory, Austin Morris, for the Alabama Crimson Tide. So, starting off this episode, showing you guys this position battle, and this one I believe is to move up into second place of the depth chart, and we're over halfway right here, with not many reps to go, we did a good job in this position battle, we're gonna see how it ends, you know, getting some good runs. And that one was great. Great, good blocking against this defense, and that would win it. So we win this position battle. And you see the last rep right here. So, uh, yeah, so like I said, we're going to win this position battle. Moving up to second on the depth chart. But TJ Yeldon, who is the starter, is injured. So that would mean Austin Morris will be starting this game as we head into week five, playing against Ole Miss. This should be a pretty good game. Ole Miss isn't the best team, but they're rated pretty well. So we'll see how it goes. All right. We get the ball first. Austin Moore set back to return this kickoff, and he's going to field it. See where he goes. He's going to cut back to the left, trying to get around the edge. Beautiful blocking. Lots of green space ahead of him, and he's going to be taken down near midfield. 49-yard return to start off this game. And here we got a second and 10 going to take the handoff out of the shotgun going around cutting up and we are taken down after a seven yard rush really good way to start off this game and we would go on to score it is seven to three at this point and we are returning another kickoff right here and what are we going to do cut back to the left again everyone's on the ground there's lots of green space once again even more this time and no one's going to catch austin morris he's all the way down the sideline into the end zone for a touchdown that's a 100 yard return Austin Morris getting the kickoff return for a touchdown. 14-3. Alabama has the lead. And now back to return this punt. See what he can do right here. He cuts back to the left once again. And there's just so much space. Great job on special teams today. And he's getting past midfield. Finally taken down at the 45. 31-yard return. There's just such great blocks helping set up Austin Morris on these returns. And now with the draw play running up the middle. Picking up 8 yards great run right there later in the drive we got first and 10 in the red zone getting the handoff up the middle cutting back to the left finding a hole picking up 10 yards right there just short of the first down and now we have third and goal you're gonna see right here can we get in the end zone austin morris is gonna go out on a route and he catches the pass from aj mccarron for the touchdown nine yard reception right there getting into the end zone so now the score is 21 to 10 as we are late into the second quarter Austin Moore's break, breaking tons of tackles. Picks up five yards right there. So that'd make a second and five. Next play, McCarron going to hand it off to him once again, getting around the edge, and picks up the first down. That's going to move the change right there. So he's having a good game so far, 42 yards on just 10 rushes. So later in the drive, we got second and three, and we're going to take this handoff once again, pick up the first down, and we barrel through a couple defenders, fall forward, picking up 10 yards right there. Good way fighting for extra yardage. He does a great job of that as we have first and 10 with 30 seconds to go. McCarron is back to pass, and he's going to throw it deep to the right side, and it is caught by one of our receivers for the touchdown. 31-17 is now the score as we are into some second-half gameplay. Austin Morris is going to return this punt right here. He's going to take it right, and then he cuts back left. And that was a nice move right there, and he'll finally be taken down inside the 40, giving the Alabama team a, some good field position. But I see it, uh, we wouldn't score off of that. And another drive here, though, we're only up by 7, and we would get a nice run right there. Now on 1st and 10, we take the handoff off to the right, and that will be a pretty nice 4-yard gain on the 1st down play. So later in the drive, two minutes to go in the third. Taking the handoff once again, going up the middle. And we're going to fight for four yards right there. Getting every yard we can get. Having a good game. And we take the pitch right here. And Austin Morris will basically just walk right into the end zone. Great blocking setup right there. And he would just walk right in. Too easy. Making it look easy. And you know, this Ole Miss team isn't that bad anymore. So we're up by two touchdowns here, 38-24 the score. Third quarter coming to a close, and we're returning this punt. Cutting back and forth, going up the sideline, going back inside as we are taken down after a 21-yard return. So our offense is now out on the field. We are in the pistol. Alsomer's going to take up the hand, the handoff off to the right, and he's going to barrel over that defender, picking up a nice six-yard gain right there. 
but now it would be third and four. See if we can pick up the first down, taking the handoff, and we will pick it up just barely. Very nice job of making a guy miss right there, and we move the chains 100 yards on the day now on just 20 carries too. So now we're way ahead in the drive after a long pass. Uh, it is second and goal. We take the pitch off to the right, and that is just too easy. Austin Morris gets in for another touchdown. It was a one-yard touchdown right, even though it said zero on the bottom. So, you know, we're all hype out there on the field. And we are up 45-31 to 31 at that point, but they would score a touchdown with 55 seconds to go in the game. The extra point is good, so they're down just seven. So you're going to see, obviously, they're going to have to go for the onside kick. As long as we recover it, the game will be just the game will be over. So I mean, they do have two timeouts, but come on, we're up by seven. Fifty-five seconds left. All we gotta do is recover this onside kick. Should be pretty easy, right? And it'll be tipped, and Ole Miss gets it. You gotta be kidding me. Ole Miss would recover. So we are watching this defensive play right here. The first play, see if they can stop them. But the quarterback goes deep, and it is caught, and that receiver. Breaks the defender's tackle, and he's into the end zone for the game-tying touchdown. I just could not believe this when I watched it. First of all, how do we not get the onside kick? Should have recovered that. And then first play, blown coverage, and they get the long touchdown. So we're tied 45-45, and we would have to go into overtime. I just can't believe EA's doing this to me. So, going to get into this overtime. And the defense would stop them to a field goal. So see if they're going to make it right here. As it's a long fourth and goal. But they would make the field goal right down the middle. They take the three point lead. So we just need a field goal to tie it and head it, send it to a second overtime. But a touchdown would win it. So we have a third and nine right here. McCarron is back to throw. See what he's going to do. He gets fumbled. <laughs> I mean he gets sacked and he fumbled. We would recover luckily. So our field goal unit would have to go out onto the field for the 4th and 13. Pretty long field goal. Not very long, though. Going to see if we can make it. It is up, and it is good. So going to head into the second overtime with a tie game, 48-48. So now we will get off we will be on offense first as we you know we switch each overtime. And I'm going to take this handoff on the second and nine, and we barrel forward, picking up eight, making it a third and one. That was a very nice job right there. So in the very next place, see if we can punch this in. And we're going to run up the middle and get into the end zone. Austin Moore's four-yard touchdown run in this overtime, putting pressure on the Ole Miss offense. And they're already down to first and goal. They need the touchdown to keep the game going, and they just run it in, making it look easy. Our defense needs to step it up. Well, I mean, they got to make this extra point, which is more than likely, and they do so. We'll be going into the third overtime, and if you know in college, third overtime, if you get a touchdown, you got to go for two. But you see our defense was on the field first, and they force a field goal, and it will be good. So once again, Alabama needs a field goal to tie it and a touchdown to win it. So we're going to see what we can do right here. First down, A.J. McCarron's going to throw to Austin Morris, and he's going to pick up nine yards on the reception right there, making it second and one. Now it is third and two. See if we can move the chains. We're in the pistol. McCarron's going to hand it off. And that is a first down. Austin Morris able to move the chains for this Alabama Crimson Tide offense. 117 yards on the day for him. And you see we're actually on the sidelines here. And we will be watching this third and eight play. McCarron back to throw. And he throws to a man wide open. The receiver makes the catch for the touchdown. And we will win this game. What a finish. I couldn't believe we went in overtime. But hey, we got the win. So that's all that matters. And, you know, Austin Morris in his first start, even though it could be temporary, with a big day. Obviously, that's the play of the game right there. And real quick, I do want to tell you guys that I will not be uploading Monday or Tuesday because I have football camp, and we have to stay there. And we stay at the school, and we sleep there and everything. So, yeah, I won't be able to upload 28 carries, 117 yards, three rushing touchdowns, and we also had two catches for 18 yards and receiving touchdown of the day. Four kick returns for a huge 186 yards, 46.5 average, and that big 100-yard touchdown. And then four punt returns as well for 83 yards, 20.7 average is really good. So that's great. And like I said, won't be uploading the next couple days. But once I'm back from camp, I will be uploading shortly. <laughs> so next week, we'll be playing Georgia State. I'll have that to you out soon. And yeah, please leave a like if you enjoyed. And as always, hope you did enjoy. Have a nice day. Peace.